What's up everybody and welcome back. I'm the Benjis and we back with another reaction video. This is the first reaction video on the other reaction channel, Bentis Reacts, you already know. So instead of orthodontist price and stuff, we're gonna react to anything and everything in the world. So in this episode, we're gonna react to the craziest robots and artificial intelligence stuff going on in the world today. Trust me, these robots are wild. You don't wanna miss out, especially some towards the end. So let's go ahead and get into it. My man just carrying a box. You can imagine a robot literally just carrying your packages for you like imagine someone coming up to your door with a robot i mean you could just like kick them over take the package and run wait are you telling me <laughs> you know i already have to worry about my regular dog peeing i gotta worry about my robot dog peeing on my carpet now too i don't know if i'm ready for this future man you imagine coming home and the robot's just like sitting there welcome i would like to take your groceries and give you homework wait i do not want little mini robots inside my body what you mean they can do it in VR too? You telling me some doctor's gonna be VR inside my stomach with a robot? Honestly, it's impressive. Pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Oh no, that's where I draw the line, man. That's where I draw the line. I'm not doing microscopic robots inside my body. You know how many people are saying like you're gonna get robots when you get shots and stuff? They can really put robots in you now. This is a scary world. That is pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. It's still creeping me out though. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna get rocks and sock and robots in real life here. Don't need to work out anymore. I got my exoskeleton suit, man. This guy is basically making the robot move from far away. So you telling me I could be halfway across the world, I could be in a robot doing orthodontics on you. How crazy is that? And it looks super accurate. Now self-driving cars, that's my vibe. Tesla, we actually got two on the way. My man flipping like Spider-Man. You trying to tell me we create these things that we're gonna be able to beat a Spider-Man flying robot? I can't beat that. I'm scared. Jesus, Jesus, calm down robot. Yo, imagine roller coasters in the year 30, 30, 30, doing robot stuff like this, I'm out. Oh, little bunny robot, it's so sweet. And now it looks like a demon. Yo, I swear, if I start seeing these little robots moving around, little cheerleading action, go robot, go robot, go robot, go, go robot. I'm not gonna lie. This does nothing but scare me more. I mean, it looks like a giant snake dog. Just imagine one of these things coming to your home to attack you. But it is so cute, it's walking a little dog. But you can tell the dog is way cuter than the robot. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, have a little robo dog. Just want to let you guys know that this guy is walking his robot dog. What's the point here, Mark? My man is using his dog as a grocery bag. These are different animals? Oh, nope, nope, snake robot, nope, nope. No, I gotta use a snake robot. Cockroaches? Why do we need cockroach robots? Are we gonna try and infiltrate the Burger King to see if they are up to health code standards? What do you need those for? Okay, we got a little bat robot. It can fly? A robot can fly? So you tell me they can flip like Spider-Man. They can fly. They're small enough to get a cockroach. We're gonna get taken over by robots. It's just, it's the end of the game. That bird is pretty cool. Have you guys ever seen the theory that pigeons aren't real? They're actually robots controlled by the government? What did he say? When was the last time you saw a baby pigeon? Tell me. And now we got these bird robots popping up? I'm just saying, could be true. Sea robots. You telling me we're making sea snakes now as a robot that can grab stuff? I'm not even safe in the water. The water is already full of crazy, creepy things in the deep. And now we're gonna add robots to the mix? Oh, it's our little dog friend and he is up on its hind legs doing something crazy. We got wheels. You got jumping robots. You can do the jumping backflip. We're gonna win the Olympics with our robots. Hey, drones, I know what a drone is. Okay, we got a little cave exploration. We got the whole gang here. All five of them, they're all coming together. Oh, a little cave mapping. Now, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, because I ain't trying to get lost in no caves. I'd rather send a robot to get lost rather than myself. I didn't think about that. You think they're just hanging out? You think they joke around like we do like, hey, Brian, nice rock sample. Ha <laughs> ha. An old building in Shanghai was reloaded. They relocated a whole entire building with a robot. Okay, now this is cool. A little bar that'll make you drinks. I could get used to this. It's cooking for you. Oh, okay, you won me over, man. I'm well, welcome to the robot master race. If you're going to be cooking every night for me, I will take that. Samsung HandyBot will wash your dishes for you? Okay, see, we started off bad, but now we're moving good. I mean, I'm going to have a personal chef servant. Wait, is that a window cleaner robot? We got a window cleaner robot. We got a gardening robot. Is that picking up weeds? 
It's going around and cutting weeds out. Oh, see, I've seen these, the VTOLs. I cannot wait. I'm going to be flying all over in this thing. But just imagine if you get in a wreck in the sky. Would you trust, I mean, I barely trust Ubers as it is. Would you trust an Uber in the air? I don't think so. I mean, I ain't trying to end up ground meat on the ground. I might fly myself, though. Fun fact, Megan is actually completely scared of airplanes. So she's probably not getting in this. But this, these drones look awesome. Like, imagine flying around in that, like, to your lake house or something. That would be sick. I ain't never flying American Airlines again. No spirit for me. Nuh-uh. Hey, you know what else other than a robot's electric? My electric toothbrush is something nice company with the two new colorways, purple and white, that you guys created. So if you want to support me and everything, get one of the toothbrushes from somethingnicecompany.com. By the way, every one purchase, we give one to a kid in need. That's why we call it something nice, baby. So if you want to support me and everything, these will be available on September 21st. Mark your calendar, somethingnicecompany.com. Let's get back into the reaction. Michael Reeves. He's always got something crazy. Boston, the Piss Bot 9000. Is this what I saw earlier? A beer reservoir? Oh, so that wasn't pee, that was beer. No, it's gonna literally pee in the cup. No, but don't move! No! Oh, it's just pee and beer everywhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We got a lot of robots in the book, but some of these ideas might need to just stay in the books. So there you guys go. We went ahead and went over all the craziest robots there were. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit that subscription bell, everything else. We're gonna be doing reactions all the time on this channel of everything of the coolest things out there on the interwebs. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the fam, the Floss fam. We outie. I'll see you later. I'm the Bentus. 